this is gonna be fun walk. Done, done, and done. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Actually, I'm bloody miles away. Ah, crap. Uh, chicken soup. I can definitely use that. Um, do you have a good hood at the moment? No, I don't think I do. I think it's just a. Yeah, I'll hold on to it. Just a plant fiber one. Yep. Oh, chicken, you are taunting me with your chickeny oh. goodness. There we are. Now I can run. Oof. Oh, hush you, Nico Shana. So rude. <laughs> Our relationship is far too strong for your your paltry amateur manipulations to have any effect. <laughs> You're like the Ben Gesserit if they were actually just powerless and didn't have the voice. You're just a meddler. Just, just a meddler? <laughs> what? I'm just teasing. Uh, so mean. Death Cobra. Yeah, I did pass a stump. Um, but I just need to be on the move. By the way, the pronounced the the is pronounced ni e in e. Oh, no, so Neko, not Nico. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Neko. Is that right? Hey, Road Train, how you doing, buddy? I don't think I'm going to get to Jen and in and hand in this quest. All in one go. We'll see. Oh, I, I know it's uh, a Japanese word for cat. It's just I, I don't speak Japanese, so I'm not necessarily as... Uh, Ofe with the pronunciation. But I, I do know what the word means. Or what little that means. We need to play Dwarf Fortress and name our necromancer Necroshan. <laughs> that would be glorious. Hey, Oshie Lab. Just heading no. in to hand in this quest as quick as I can. I can now make crystals. Oh, oh wow. Are quite the daring adventurer. Got it off Jen oh, for my uh, quest reward. I guess I'll take the Grave Digger mod. Thank you. Any more jobs? You got a bunch of fetch quests nearby. I'll take one. I think I've got this Thank is you. dangerous work. It is nice getting to the point now where we feel like kind of um, comfortable just taking on. POIs each. Yeah. I mean, we can share the quest, and that way we both get double the impact, but... Oh. Get more loot doing them on our own, I think. There's probably a bit like six or one half dozen the other, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Probably uh, something like that. All right, let me drop things off. Right, we've now got actual mm -hmm. antibiotics yeah. in the... in the uh, medicine cabinet. Along with some more drinks and bits and bobs. Very nice. Dropping off the level 2 padded hood that I had in the... Uh, in the weapons chest. Well, weapons, armor, and, and misc chest, I guess. Alright. Time to shunt things around a little bit, I think. In fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take everything out of there. Hop. I'm going to start shifting them about. Let's pop all of these in there. Consider these more building materials than anything else. I mean, realistically, we probably want to upgrade 
our base. Yeah. But for now, this seems like a decent place for most of it. We're getting. Okay. We're definitely getting to the point where um, we've got the food, we've got the medical supplies we need. You know, we were going through a stage where that was getting very annoying to get. Oh yeah. And I will say, I. I oh, pause. Uh, I I do actually like that about the game, though. I do like yeah. the fact that the Gives game... Gives you, like, stages that you have to overcome. Yeah. Something. Yeah, absolutely. There's Also, there's some uh, suit pants in there if you want to go for the, the more suity look in the armor area. Are you sure you're okay with, the, with your low health at the moment? Do you need any help with that? Uh, no, I've got, like, four first aid bandages on me, but I just... Um, oh, just that's right. You're letting your... Natural healing fix, aren't you? Yeah. But I need, basically, just need to eat so that it'll kick in. Yeah. Julie noted. Take a couple of those. There we are. Perfect. Okay. Right, I'm dropping off your. Actually, I'm going to repair your shovel and I'm going to place it back in the. Uh tool chest, but I've got a new mod for it. So it'll be even more effective in the future. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. Got six robotic parts, really? Ooh. Yeah, well, I found yeah. a few earlier on, like I found four or something in a chest. Okay. Well, I need basically two levels then, and I can build a robotic sledge. I will start building up in that direction. I need to be f above 50 food to not be hungry then. Uh, I don't know. But that probably sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, my yeah, food is currently 98. Think... I'm doing well for food, actually. Iron gut has definitely helped. A lot. We've got 73 yeah. meat, 4 eggs, 15 animal fats. Yeah, I'll make some eggs and bacon oh. now. We've got a few eggs. Yeah. That's what I was keeping the meat for. Yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, what I'm going to do while you're doing that is I'm actually going to fix up some of the walls a little bit more. Oh, actually. Is boiled meat better than grilled meat or is it the same? Uh, one is more hydrating and more healthy for you. That's about it as far as I'm aware. Right, I'm just reinforcing the perimeter of this temporary base just so that if something does want to come and attack, it's going to have to yeah. break through. I would need... And it goes up from wood to cobble. Now, bearing in mind, we can we can make so many different shapes. Uh, oh, absolutely! I was um, obviously when I was making this, it was like yeah, you know, under a bit of time pressure. So I was just like, "Yep, whatever." Oh no, no! I, I was I was meaning that in regards to the fact that you can just upgrade from wood to cobble, so you can do that for mm -hmm. all of the shapes, basically. That is quite good though. It's, it's it's a lot more like um, you, you're not fiddling around with lots of different things. It's just a, a set of shapes and different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time for arches. It is always time for arches. Much like it being time for tea, you know. It's one of those things. But as for um, the alpha, because. Uh, Atra uh, Atrax Taylor asked, I am really, really enjoying this alpha. I find it fantastically, fantastically good. Oh, you know what we should do, Sheet Lab? Um, where is it? I'm going to place down one of the bill the uh, base blocks. Mm -hmm. There we are. It's now... We should be able to... Uh, 
remove things. So any of the built the the furniture we've placed down, we can now pick up. So this furnace, for example, we can move. Should we need to later? Oh, that's on. good. How come we can move it? Sorry. Because, oh, because it's the now part of block. the yeah. Now right. it now recognizes itself as part of the base. That's a good. Uh, I am going to go thing. ahead and I'm gonna smelt down all of our metal. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And a decent chunk of our clay. Now, one thing that I think I discovered the hard way a long time ago is that. Um, should we move this, it will lose everything stored up inside it. Which can be right, quite Right, yes, I think I do remember you learning that the hard way. Yeah, it was a painful time. Uh, okay, all of the food is done over here, so I'm going to turn the fire off. And I'm going to transfer all of this food across. Where's my food at right now? I'm okay, man. I do wish the UI would tell you what your food and your drink were at normally. Yeah, I I do as well. It's like it's nice when you get a mod that does that. Yeah, like a UI mod. Typically, whenever I play a modded version of Seven Days to Die, the only mods I use are to adjust the UI in some way. Like I. In fact, I don't think I've ever used... Oh, no, no, I have played on a, a mod once which actually modded the game itself and it added all kinds of new creatures and workstations, but generally speaking, I, I think the one thing that really caught my eye out of that is you could build a chicken coop and then just harvest feathers and eggs from it. Um, yeah, I remember playing that one. Yeah. Thank you very much, Little Missive, for the cheer there. That's very kind of you. And thank you very much to the friendly ghost who gifted a sub to Road Train. Unless I change the timer, all dead things that can be harvested will stay for five minutes. That was the old timer, so it might have changed. Thank you, King uh, Kings. And also, above 50 food, not hungry. 35 to 50 food is hungry, and 0 to 35 food is very hungry, and then 0 food is starving, if they remember correctly. Uh, oh, and food... Oh, thank you, the King of Kings. Quite correct. The water, like the blue bar and the green bar on your, just below your hot oh, bar. Oh, yes. Food and water. Thank you. Yes. It's very subtle. And EXP above it. Yeah. That is very subtle, but when you know it's there, you can know to look for it and it's, yeah. All Super the information useful. you need. Thank you. Right. Now, it is day five. Means we've yeah, got we do need to think about about uh, two days to go. Yeah, board base. Coming up. So what was it that you wanted to do? I do think a separate horde base to this would be good. Completely make something new. Yeah, I agree. It's Can you see wherever that wolf was? It's coming from this direction. Unless my set this on the wrong way. I would say I probably need to make myself some kind of gun prior to Horde Nights as there. well. And she's down. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a wolf out there. So oh. Did I just see it? Yes, yes, I did. Hello. Oh, it's a it's a big boy. Okay. We need to kill this one quickly. It will burrow through the wall fairly easily. I don't have any ranged weapons. Okay. Just get in there and if there repair is any, the wall. if there is any wood at all, repair the wall. I think it's already cut through. I think it is all in my through. inventory. It's gotten through two bits. I'm just gonna go 
with I my need to repair bow for now. Oh, a sec. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. It's got all the time in the world. This is a dire wolf, I think, considering how much damage it's soaked up. So we don't want to be fighting this head on. I mean, I know I'm not to using. Hit any of the interior blocks yet? Oh, it's now starting to. Oh, that's where he was. It's dead. It is well, literally a pin cushion. But yeah, that was a dire wolf. I got 12 arrows back, and, and, and I'm not even guaranteed that the arrows that I shoot it with will survive. <laughs> but that's going to be a lot of meat. All of the butt shots. Arches, arches, arches. I'm trying to replace your arches. I don't know where they are in the thing, though. It's uh, under windows. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find it. What did you meet from that? Not bad. Done and done. Yeah, not bad at all. We're all repaired from it as well. Okay. Right, I'll be able to make iron arrowheads. But we don't really have any proper weapons for the upcoming Horde Knight, which is my biggest concern, mm. other than the pistol. 22 bullets there, but I think I would say you go ahead with the pistol. You sure? Yeah, I'll okay. I'll just use my uh, pipe rifle, and then we should just have bow as backup, basically. In fact, I'm actually more dangerous with my bow right now. It's just the uh, pipe rifle is much more um, useful at range because there's no arrow drop. We might be able to purchase some materials. Who knows? I might I mean because we're getting more confident we're going into the houses as well, we might be able to find a few things as we scavenge around. But obviously we need to take time out to build the actual horde base, so Yeah. That's where the forge is gonna come in handy, because I'm gonna need to make cobblestone. How do we exactly make cobblestone? Cobblestone rocks made from just small stones and clay. So, just made in your inventory then? I'm assuming so. It's been a while. Yeah, it is. We've already got like, have we already got 61 cobblestone rocks there as well? Yeah, I'm making another 100 odd. So yeah. Um, but ultimately, if I can get two extra levels, before Horde Night, then should be a big help. I've been playing for 10 level. hours and I just noticed the bars under the hotbar, only because you guys mentioned it. It seems they may have made it a little bit too subtle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just glad they put it in at all. Hey, crazy tricks there. Building items back down there. Clock. All right, we're going to want to start smelting brass if we can. Not well. I mean, we've got some gunpowder, so if you can make pistols, did, did was that right? You can make pistols. You should be able to make the yeah. ammo. Yeah. Uh, we're still going to need to yeah. get a workbench though, but something we can work towards. Nine mil. Nine mil ammo. 
And we need a workbench, do we? I have a wrench, so... Oh, we've got a hammer, we've got a wrench. Okay, so we will be able to put together a workbench. Huh. Okay. As long as one of us puts the points in. Hello, Radalf. Advanced. Could you took advanced engineering, didn't you? Uh, let me just double. Or were you going I, I, to? I've got um, advanced engineering one, but I think to make the workbenches, yeah, to make workbenches, I've got to get level two. Ah, okay. Which will be intellect level four, so that's quite far away from me. Unless we pick up a. A schematic for workbenches. Schematic for workbenches, yeah. It's a new save road train. Right. Well, that time's almost over. And your corn is ready to harvest. Hooray. Very good. Have you been keeping up with making more farm plots, by the way? Um. Well, I did the other two, but I need to make some more, probably. I was just wondering if it's whether you had seeds or not. Um. To me, it's not. It says same. corn plants rather than growing. I would have assumed that meant it could be harvested. Maybe I'm wrong. Ask chat though, before pulling it down. Hang on. I think I've got to be really specific about where I do this. Uh, no, that's a frame shape. So how do I harvest it then? Yeah, corn plant means ready. Um, to harvest a, a growing plant, is it just a matter of hitting it like you would harvest a uh, a regular plant? I It's been so long since I did it. Yeah, you're just punching it. it. Yeah. Okay. Just be very careful of what you punch. Right. Oh, that's not not great then, because I only get four back, and it takes five to make an area, a thing of corn. Oh, because it don't grow. Ah, I th I was certain. It, did you punch it twice or? No, I punched it once. Oh. Chat, did I do something wrong? I was certain it kept growing. Right, I'm gonna need to go out and, oh, did you have a fire ax I could use? Because I'm gonna go and do a, a um, yes. gathering session. Oh. There you go, it's just outside for you. Thank you. Just there. You, you should have gotten a seed, seed back. back. Ah, no, I didn't. There you go. No, I didn't. I've got four ears of corn. See, I think that. Oh, Neferani says you used to, but not anymore. Sees are a fifty fifth uh fifty percent chance now. Ah That's a bit rough. Okay, duly noted. Okay. Okay, so we've gone back to the way it was before. One change to Alpha 20 is you only have 50% chance to get the seed back, so lose some. Okay. Yeah. That's a bit of a shame. But duly noted, so keep some spare seeds around. Overall, you will come out on top, but. Yeah. Because it used to be that that was the case. Like, the way they they made it work previously was that you would get the seed... Uh, sorry, it, it wouldn't destroy the plant. It would just um, yeah, harvest the plant. Yeah, it looks plant. like you don't really get very... You're not going to get really good yields until you get to Farmer 3 at Fortitude Level 5. Because then you get triple, so then I would probably get something like six out of it instead of four. 
Yeah. Which would then mean that I'd be one up, even if I didn't get the seed back. Okay. Well, for food. Hey, get off our base, you horrible zombies. Oh, is there a horde out there? Yeah, it's only like two zombies, though. Good night, Wolf here. But yeah, for the, for the horde base, I mean, it depends really on what we want to do. We could, of course. Just kind of uh, hop up on top of a building or something. Um, yeah, we could do that, or we could build a little um, sort of ramp or something to, to go up onto that we could then develop into something else. Oh no, it is a mini horde. There's four of them actually. I've taken out two, so now it's two lots of two. But how dare you! to wreck our horde base. So mean. Well, not our horde base, but... Missing. Yeah. Oh, there. Well done. I'm just going to chop these trees until the axe's durability runs out, and then I will bring all that work back to base. Anything you need me to do? Um, honestly, make at this bullets. point, yeah, I mean, make bu bullets for your pistol. You'll be, you'll probably be the most effective combatant in the. Uh, in the, during the hall, I would say. Okay, I think we probably run that down now. So I'm just going to plant all these seeds. And I pop the forest back so that we can harvest it again later. And back to getting some hunting going on. Uh, not sorry, hunting, uh, some scavenging. In the form of quests. I'm bringing the axe and the... Oh, okay, no, it does need a workbench. Sorry, I'm being silly there. No worries. Oh, damn it, I just stood there like a dummy. But I am kind of feeling that maybe the pipe baton is going to be the better thing for me to grab as, as a weapon. Especially now that... Well, if I have a look at this, I would drop 4.1 damage on the regular attack and 12.2 on the power attack, but my stamina drain would be 4 points lower. It would also be... Last attacks for a minute as well. Somehow it's got better durability though. Mm -hmm. No, attacks per minute is higher on the sledgehammer. Let me repair it using some pipes first. That'd be a stone sledgehammer. Uh, well, before you do, I am thinking of switching over to this one. Um, oh, it's already crafting. It's fine. Uh, well, this is a level 2 David. stone sledgehammer with the weighted head mod. That's, a, that's good, then. I'll uh, take that and I'll just put this away as a spare. 
Yeah. That's probably why that is doing better than the level 2 pipe baton, despite the mm. fact that I've got some better um, skills for it. But with that, let's head on out. Oh, let me drop off the axe, actually, as well. off. Oh, oh. I keep doing that. We need to upgrade the floor simply so I stop picking it up. Yeah. Uh, how's my food looking, actually, before I run out? 72. I'm going to eat the boiled meat, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can eat the boiled meat, sorry. Is this loaded? No, it is not loaded. Are you good on your next quest? Um, yep, yep. I'm gonna go and do that. It's like a little fetch quest or something. Hi. Uh, Death Cobra. I mean, that, that's a fair point. I should have compared it without the uh, the mod in, but I gave the the whole thing to Shilab anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really good for me comparing compared to uh Right, not the uh, greenhouse, so that's fine. Yeah, this is a T one fetch. Do you want a prediction, chat? Do you want to gamble? How's it rainy for Avak and sunny for Shilab? How is it rainy for me and sunny for Shilab? Hacks! I don't know. How it's dare? Because it's always bloody raining for me. Rude. Shenanigans, I call. Forest is looking very different nowadays, eh? Alright, let's run another prediction then. It's gonna be the same one as uh, last time. You can have two minutes. Boom, there you go. Move quickly with that. And this is any damage. If I take full damage, it counts. We're one for one so far. Oh, did I? Oh, good. Now, what is probably going to happen is following today's questing, I am going to spend tomorrow prepping a horde base. Wait, I messed up. How do I undo a bet? You can't. No. Missions box. Uh, okay. Steel spear parts. 82 9 mil ammo. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Not bad at all, actually. I will loot the outside of this point of interest while chat. Does their bet, and then it'll get reset. Take some damage, and I'll split it 50-50. <laughs> uh. You've only got a couple of seconds left, chat. If you're on mobile, I don't know if predictions actually even show up, I'm afraid. It doesn't count until we start the quest. Grab whatever I can find in here, all I can. Uh, so everything. That looks dodge. Oh, I have this wild and dodge. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but 
since I'm already here, let's grab Cracker Book. Predictions do work on mobile. Okay. Well, I can see plenty of blue believers. And... Oh, hunting knife schematic that I've already read. Can sell that or give that to SheLab. Okay, I will try not to let you down, blue believers. We begin. Stealth mode. Find White River supplies. They are in the base somewhere. Now, of course, it's a thousand times easier to do this if I just throw caution to the wind and just charge in. Guns blazing. Okay, oh, hello. Much better. Fortunately, I wasn't fast enough. Tourists are annoying and tanky. Digging my way in is a very viable method of clearing these places out, but for now, we're going to take our time, try and progress nice and slowly. Try and avoid stepping on any rubbish and alerting everything in here that I'm here. Because this is not a fetch and clear. I don't actually have to fight everything. I just need to find the supplies and get out. The moment I've got out... <laughs> Suck it, pink pessimists! <laughs> Rigged! <laughs> the location that, that that stash can take can be it can be any number of random places. <laughs> oh, you just got scammed so hard. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. The game just scammed you so hard. That could have been in any number of places in there. And that's actually a decently big point of interest with enough enemies in there. That it's not actually hard to take damage. <laughs> oh, I had to get through one enemy. <laughs> ah, that laughter was epic. I have she labs audio on well, uh, on very low volume, so she gets views as well. And this echo is perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Demi of Dirt. By the way, that's very kind yeah. of you. For those of you who don't Thank know what so they're talking about, um. When using multi-stream, because Shilab isn't a partner, we can't do a squad stream. So it's kind of like a like a, a ghetto way of doing a squad stream. Um, multi-stream allows people to watch both streams and have both chats. But it will the way that the Twitch's um, browser works, it will only credit a channel with a view if a person hasn't got it muted. So having it on, but with a very, very low volume... Just anything above zero, basically, will credit Shilab with a view as well. You got the best prices in the wasteland. Hello. Amazing. I hope Thank you it. like your reward. Uh, Molotovs might be useful for the Horde Knight, actually. I will take. Do you have any other jobs? Uh, I do like clear zombie quests. That's just the job for someone with your talents. Thank Fantastic. You. Hope to see you soon. I will be back soon. Yeah, sure. Uh, though, I'm kind of tempted to go and check that area out, but the thing is, getting quests is the best way of getting uh, level ups. You level up so quickly. Um, Alright. Next. Up to Dimwit now. What's up? That's okay. I'm sorted. I'm running away. It's cool. Good. I had to use a bandage. Always annoys me when I have to use a bandage. Well, I've got a clear zombie quest that's actually the other side of the bloody... Wow. Okay, it's actually out of here, so it's going to be a inner woods cabin. Molotovs and pipe bombs are super underrated. Yeah, no, I 100% I agree with that. Molotovs are, can be ultra clutch. Thank you. 
drop that off. We'll drop this off. There we are. And there's the bullets. Uh, I don't need beer with me. I'm going there. What I do want is tea. And I think I'm going to take some food for the road. Okay. Ooh. I've got to stop dropping off all my pipes because those I need now for two separate things that I need to repair. But yeah, there's a part of me that's like, oh man, I should go back and loot that place, but ultimately my goal right now is getting EXP, not, not loot. Oh, the strange wolf, thank you. I didn't know it didn't count if muted, so I just unmuted it. That's really kind of you. Really, really kind of you. Super appreciate that. Shilab is trying very, very hard to. Uh, I had to switch partner. my headphones over. So hope you didn't say anything to me. <laughs> Actually, I was just uh, just talking about what I uh, what I got back from the quest. Um, but yeah, I was just thanking Strange Wolf in chat who uh, just unmuted you um, because they didn't know that it didn't count as a view if it was muted. Ah, right. And I was just explaining that you're currently trying to uh, trying to get partner. Yeah. Yeah, it would be really nice if I could. Then we could do squad streaming. Yeah. Which would be so much, so much easier. None of this, like, multi-link, multi-link all the time. Yeah. Plus, the next time that we go to TwitchCon, when that ever happens, who knows, considering it probably seems like every few months a new variant comes out and all of the restrictions go back into place. Um, <laughs> that's a conversation for another time. Um... But yeah, once we do get to go back to uh, Twitch cons and things like that, then uh, Sheila won't have to be my plus one everywhere we go. Super annoying. And not even allowed into some things. Yeah. I was going to say, that's that's if they allow it. Which they don't always. Okay, Rabbit, you earned that freedom. You enjoy it. Oh, hush you. Everyone who's coming across here and following just now. That's well, super kind of you all. Followed and lurked for Shelab. Fingers crossed on partner. That is so kind of you. Thank you very much, Shackleberry. And Maxaberg. Uh, Maxabug. I keep going to say Berg. I apologize. Thank you for being so kind. Let me just butcher your name. <laughs> it's how Avax show love. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do 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 you do we dare do another prediction? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready, chance? <laughs> do you do you want another chance? Uh. Now, this one is a clear area, so I have to kill all of the zombies this time. So, you know, they're, they're a little bit less all over the place. Uh, just had to flex on the unbelievers in, in Dapical, Dapical. You know what, Nosferatu for R2 Light? I approve of that so much, I'm not going to give you your points back. That would cheapen your gloating. You are now very, very uh, wealthy, thanks to the pink pessimists. All right. Okay. Another two minutes. Start prediction. you got two minutes to make your predictions known. And whilst that's going on, I'm going to get in here and uh, loot the place a little bit. Ooh, a hoodie. Very nice. And... Oh, destroyed workbench. Sadness. Nope. Hello. Pop. How am I missing you? I do like that this little place was a bunch of survivors, though, just trying to, you know, get through the the apocalypse. And they've, you know, done the 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 cliched cargo container war. Uh, see, you would you would have uh, won if the quest had already begun there. Okay, so it's too good. Sadly, that doesn't count. Those two down. Really? How did I miss it? That oh my God. as someone who actually uses a boat in real life. Bows and games upset me. Yeah. 
you again. Lots of follows still coming through. You are very wonderful people. My stamina. This means is I can notify you that I'm doing stuff. Ah, uh, a little bit of stuff. Uh, what's my? Why is my stamina regen so garbage? Oh, food and water are both fairly low. Okay. Almost down to half on both. G glad I checked that before we actually started the quest. Okay. You've got seconds left on the prediction. Seconds left. Get in on it now if you want to. Uh, I'm sure we'll use this again. There we go. I am slaked. The tea is as a reward only. All right. Stealth mode activate and... Really? Hello. Oh, thanks for the resub, Unspeakable. Okay. And again, please. Quickly, before he properly starts moving around. There we are, nice. Now that looks like it'll collapse. So, let me edge my way around. I guess one way of clearing this place out would simply be to activate everything and then kill them as they try to reach me. Oh, hello. Yep. May actually be about to employ that tactic. See? Come on. Where are you going? Oh, I've got his arm off. <laughs> there we go. Now, I will also fail this if I if I leave the area. And that will count as a fail. Well, well, yes, if I'm going to complete the quest without taking damage. I can't complete the quest if I fail the quest, so that will count. Okay. Wait, I'm going to have to make some noise. Wake some peeps up. Even watching my end, um, the reason why I'm wanting this rooftop is I did it earlier on. It's got some nice stuff up here, so... Okay, well, I'm going to have to plink some things. Hello? Hello? Hmm. I'm not sure I'm okay with this. There we go. Wakey, wakey. Sometimes stealth that isn't the right play. Very you know? nice. Sometimes you've got to be a cheeky devil. Well, look at that majestic stag out there. How I wish I could go hunt you. Sadly, I must carefully eliminate my opposition here. You should be tempted to try and come... No, don't go back in there. Why do you keep insisting on going in there? No! Oh, you son. Also that, I just realized how risky that was for me, actually. Because I could have sprained my leg or something when jumping down. Which, once again, would have counted. Okay, they haven't cleared them all. That worries me. Is there more to this place than meets the eye? Yes, there is. Okay. What are we going next, then? Ooh. We get in there. Chemistry station schematic. That would have been some, but oh, we're good. I'll take that. Chemistry station schematic. Well played. Mm 
That's quite Sorry? far down. That's quite far down on the list of. Oh, oh my God, that scared me. That's uh, quite uh, far down on the list of of things I would need to do in order to be able to build. Hmm. How then do I get over there normally? Usually light will show the- ah. Light will show the way? No? Hmm. Quite often these things will give you an idea of the way you meant to try and navigate them. I don't like cheating it by just digging through everything, you know? I don't see any obvious way in there, so I guess I'm just gonna, like, unless it's go through the roof. Does it go through the roof? I hope you're appreciating this, Pink Pessimist. I'm doing my they best. They are appreciating it by giving me lots of follows. Oh dear god, it's a zombie cop! Oh, be careful. Okay, this has just got significantly... <laughs> uh, I was about to say, this has got significantly harder, but no! Zombie Cop decided to uh, unalive itself. Winners! Did it blow up? Yeah, they jailed They jailed a cop in the, in the compound. Yes, yeah, so it blew up without me taking any damage. Well done, Blue Believers. There you go. love how you do it with no damage, and I've gone through and taken about 70 damage doing my quest. Yeah, mind you, I, I, I'm I being extra careful because people have bet on me, and I don't want to let them down. You're like, ah, what is the fastest way for me to complete this? This yeah. is the fastest way. Right too much. We're playing to different criteria, basically. Oh. Are we using 7.62 ammo for anything? Yeah, I'm using it for my uh, pipe rifle, but that's only. Because I can get I'm 60 of it as my quest reward here. Oh, I like that. Activate the work wood rack key. Okay, I'm, start I'm starting to appreciate those a little bit more. I am starting to appreciate those. You hear those that? Got 60 ammo for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Nosferatu double flex! Using 2,000 of their damper ducats recently acquired. Well done. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well done, chat. You're creating new dapper barons. Redistributing your wealth aggressively. Uh, just got level uh, quality four leather knuckles. Too bad. Also, thank you very, very much indeed, Aragos NDM. For the five months. Super kind of you. Get some metal in here. Okay, everything else is looted in there. Right, time to properly... Oh, forged. I got a book iron. for you to uh, craft exploding arrows, by the way. <gasps> yes. I approve. Okay, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. See, lab Out of curiosity. Have you got sunny skies and no rain? Um, no, it's raining. Okay. For once, and when it was when I had sunny skies earlier and it was raining for you, when I moved around a bit, it started raining. Ah, okay. It's just it's just uh, the boundary between the two, I think. Well, that's actually quite cool. I didn't realise it actually had um, regional weather effects. That's not common in games, to be fair. I am deeply over encumbered now, though. Ugh. My lord. I'm not a fan of this level of over encumberedness. I'm going to grab some soup, gobble that down. <sighs> I've got a long ways to get back as well. If slash when they manage to break through, I need to skedaddle. 
with a swiftness. Uh, let's wear those. I love my gothic boots, but I also love armor. So, gothic boots must come off. They haven't made a move yet. I mean, this place has mostly got garbage in it, but it's not terrible. Rick, you know. Be fair to the devs, the weather being rainy for one and sunny for another. I once lived in a neighborhood where one day it rained on exactly half of the neighborhood and was dry on the other half. I mean, yeah, I mean, realistically, whilst weather patterns are usually a little bit more broad, you you can totally be in front of a of a uh, of a rainstorm. Okay, next question. Yeah, victory. Okay, I've now got a lot of bits of food. But I am so over encumbered, G Lab, I don't even. What did you say, sorry? I'm so over encumbered now. Do you need help? Might do, actually. It's going to take me an age to get back to you. I'll come. I've got an empty inventory, so I'll uh, come and take some stuff off you. Thank you. Oh, so soon we will indeed have for ourselves bicycles. And that is part of the what I'm hoping for right now. Is I know that once you've completed enough tier one quests, you will be awarded a bonus... Um, reward like this the quest progression in the game uh in terms of the traders trader progression let's call it where they'll give you tier one quests and once you've done enough of those they'll upgrade the quest they'll offer you to tier two and they will also give you the coordinates of the next kind of trader in the progression chain and hey oh shoot up Right, I got some things. First and foremost, your gothic boots. Secondly, a hoodie. Uh, next, I'm going to say... Have you got, like, uh, any... Like, rocks or... No, oh, you know what, let me just... I've got rocks and wood and stuff like that in my inventory just for you general. You said you had, like, an empty inventory, so I'm just going to drop... Yeah, I do. ...a lot of things on the ground. I don't need to drop everything. I just need to drop enough that I'm no longer encumbered. I got another five spaces. You... Have you got all of that? Yeah, I'm encumbered by one, but that shouldn't be too bad. You can drop anything that is absolutely of no value if you want to. I think, I'm not actually sure how many quests you need to have gone on to get the free bag, quote unquote. But that is such a cool mechanic now because it gives you your first, uh, you know, kind of long distance form of transport. Yeah, your first vehicle. It's a lot less time to look then, which is quite nice. I've moved to South Wales in June, a bit over a decade ago. My friends in Wales assured me that the idea it rains all the time was a myth. It rained on me every night on the way home from work for 28 straight days. I mean... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. It is surely not a myth. That's just Wales. So, Hello, Jan. What are you buying today? Wow, I didn't think you had it in. When I went to university, uh, they uh, they basically said don't don't bother with an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right, three thousand EXP, 
And a minor book. Oh, I'll grab that. I just the job well. for someone with your talents. I had a good feeling about you. Thank you, Jim. Good luck. Uh, I will now use that straight away. You know what? We've got loads of materials. I'm kind of feeling doing a quick sale for Jen. We're doing really well for bullets as well, actually. I think we'll be okay for Horde Knight bullet-wise now. Hopefully. Yeah, that one quest... Maybe another quick water run. ...covered, well, not quite half, but a decent amount of uh, distance for me.